Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Chogi Wars. Aim, uh, or against the ranging rook, aim to exchange bishops. Well, that's great and all if you play static rook. Uh, if you don't play static rook, perhaps a way to interpret this proverb. Good luck. Is that if you're playing uh, ranging rook, um, be careful about exchanging bishops. Okay then. Well, we've got a unique strategy here. Uh, what to do? Let's go. This looks interesting enough. I don't know about this gold move. I got excited in the heat of the moment and just selected it somewhat randomly. Um... Hmm... Welcome. Uh, yeah, okay, so my attack was not coordinated well. Oops. Um... That said, I do have a second plan here. And this certainly is going to provoke something on the opponent's end. Let me just verify. Okay, the O really looks fine. So, okay. Like I said, this is going to provoke a reaction from the opponent. And it does. Um... So, if my pawn were up here already, then I'd not be afraid of them advancing their bishop. Um, oh, they can push this pawn, can't they? I am asking for trouble. This is going to be quite curious. Um... Mm hmm. Oh me, oh my. This is not good. Um. If I attempt to attack, things are going to explode in a way that's not profitable. Yeah. My coordination here is so clumsy. Um, if there is any coordination. Okay, finally I threaten to try to win a pawn. That's exciting. Um, they're going to bring their rook over. Strange. Huh. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay, I am going to just accept this attack and see what happens in its fallout.
Yeah, so the tempi or the tempo I spent moving the gold general up diagonally may have been of maybe not fatal, but uh, maybe of great consequence. Um, that's uh, I thought I'd have something clearer than that going on here. Okay, I activate my bishop. Nanafun. So, I know there's a proverb, don't run from a fork. I might need a proverb, don't run into a fork. Because I seem to do that quite a bit. Um... So hideous. But if it works, then it works. Probably I'm losing my rook here. Oh, I missed that they could defend this point. Um, I think we're just going to follow through on this um, and see what happens. And the key consideration there... Oh, well. Okay, maybe I'm not losing my rook. That's kind of nice. If true. Um. So what I've been looking at was this cool tactic. So this pawn's defended. Um, and I think I'm alive, somehow. It's spooky. We don't deny that, but I think I am alive. So a lance could be useful here. Gofun.
I guess silver drop down here is actually... Yeah. I was not afraid of gold drop, but I didn't consider silver drop. Uh, silver drop looks terrifying there. Um, with gold drop, at least I'm getting some pretty nice material in exchange for my bishop. I thought this might happen, but I think I emerge on the better side of this. As long as I don't just drop this for nothing. Oh, right. So that undefends this pawn. I was a bit stunned for a second there, trying to figure out what exactly changed in the position. It sucks playing defense like this, because I'll never get a turn to attack. And um, generally, defense is extremely difficult to do. But I don't see an alternative here. Something. Their attack is so severe, and my castle is so compromised that it's difficult to imagine a path forward. Yes, the opponent's been aiming to get this rook for an eternity. No, the rook doesn't do anything useful. Oh, crap. Um, they missed a really easy tactic. Um... Yeah. Oh wait, no, the the drop here would just lose a gold for nothing. My mistake. Nifun Sanjubio. Um Mate in one, because I missed it. Let's finish this game. Thanks for the game. So that's what happens when you play this opening and you do not know it. Um, and you're playing against a prepared opponent or a skilled opponent. Um, good luck. Okay, we'll try it again. Good lord. Are we doing this? This wasn't my idea to play this line.
This is super aggressive stuff, man. Okay, whatever. Let's do it. Thank you. I'm down a minute, but I, my position looks okay. So if I can get this bishop to move, then I win a silver. The bishop moved. Alright, um, yeah, I should take this. That's mine. Okay, let's attack instead of defending. I have a choice of two interesting captures here. Or I could defer both and pick some other move. Um, hmm. Okay, let's attempt to defend this knight fork. Activate my rook. Don't hang my dragon. And the opponent made the choice for me, so I didn't have to make that choice. Okay. Moved the rook to safety. That's a cool move, actually. Um... Okay, it's my turn to attack. Okay, I think I read two different checkmates here. Let's go with the easy one. I was also thinking that bishop takes might mate, but I'm I'm uncertain. Thanks for the game. Yep, that looks like checkmate. Two down, one to go. Now, bear in mind that last game my opponent did attack severely, but I also got um a rook for a silver in the opening. Good luck. I don't think most opponents will be so generous as to give me that. 
um, imbalance so quickly. Yeah, my point there isn't about the trap so much as it is... Oh, wait, wait a sec. Don't get counter-trapped. Um, if I move the silver up, on drop is kind of ugly. Okay, let's take one tempo to not completely lose this position. Um... All right, this looks interesting. My opponent contends that they can stop me from attacking. I don't think it's that simple. Um, okay, they are going to castle, so I will castle. Otherwise, I'd be pushing this over here, I think. If I had a silver, it would go here, but I have no silver. And this is what I'm curious about, is like, what's this edge bishop doing? Okay, they... Yeah, that's sensible. Um... If I'm impatient, I push this immediately. I'm not feeling too patient at the moment. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, counterplay. That's cute. Um, hang on. There be tactics in this position. Um, Oh, but none of those are simple. Um, I think there is a way to profit here. There we go. And this frees the square behind the lance for a promotion. Maybe there is an easier way about this. I couldn't easily find it. Um, but since this point's defended, like, I don't have a bishop fork like we had last game. And I was looking at lines where my rook goes up and over and around, but then they just drop a lance here before the rook moves. And then I was looking at, can I get this bishop promoting, and none of that seemed to work out either. So this is plan D, but it looks fine. Okay. Um, let's do this. I think they intended to take this bishop, but um, that gets complicated. Part of what they're intending is to try to trap my rook. Um... I don't think they have the forces to do that.
Uh, if I back up one, that's a fork. Yeah. Otherwise, like, if I go over, silver up is a mess. So, I think this is my best shot here. Nanafun. So, sure, I gave them a bishop in hand, however, um, they don't seem to have a way to profit from having that bishop. Yeah, if, especially if it has to be placed defensively. Um, oh, but that means my rook's trapped, doesn't it? Okay, I'll offer two rooks for a silver and bishop. They're going to decline my offer. Probably with the lance drop, but then I can move over here and promote it back here. Or yeah, I guess that declines my offer as well. I guess they also had this bishop fork that I just completely missed. Uh, Would have been nice for me to spot that. But maybe if that fork happens, then I take this and then move the rook over or something. I don't know. If lance, then pawn. Um, That gives me the decision-making power. That gives me the power to make mistakes. Alright. Well, I've achieved Sabaki for one of my pieces. Better than none. Um, but yeah, I try to drill it into many players' heads to try to catch this concept quicker than I caught on to it, because I struggled a lot with it, that, like, peace activity is paramount, and an inactive piece um, rapidly loses its value. Okay, so I was considering chasing down this knight, but actually leaving a hole in the castle at a time where I'm about to get a bishop looks kind of interesting. Or a bishop and a silver. Um, what? That's a cool bishop. Um... That is such a cool bishop. I would like to have it. Dibs? So my opponent's completely shut down my dragon. Which is... Well, it is what it is. Um... They don't have a bishop drop. If they did, I'd be losing a piece here. They'll drop the rook somehow and try to make it look cool. Um, that's crazy. That is bonkers, dude. Um, admittedly, I missed it, but... Uh, it doesn't seem to do much. Gofun. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to attack a knight and a pawn. You might see... Well, okay, yeah, I'll tell you. My idea is to drop the lance. And then play lance takes pawn. Although bishop takes pawn is interesting too. I guess if I give them a lance, my dragon's in trouble. Um, so my plan had a pretty big flaw, but my opponent made a decision before I could make a decision. They evicted my dragon, so I'm going to try to make the best use of it now. Normally I'd just go all the way back, but that looks a bit risky. Um, Alright, they defend my threat, so... Well, I guess this is not hanging. Um, I have two knights and a lance that I can hit this with. Although, unfortunately, I don't have a second bishop to, like, really um, break through. Oh wait, I have a tactic, don't I? It might not be very good, but I could drop a... Let's just do it. Okay. This is... Um, I don't know why they let me do this. Like, yeah, this looks slow, but they their attack looks a bit slower. Okay. Hmm. What a tactic. So here I'm preparing a fork. Um, and even given that they have a spare move, the best they can do is try to evacuate the bishop this way. But the fork still happens, and it can still take stuff. Mm -hmm. Thumping. So we're just going to do... The caveman attack. Alright, I got one piece. Oh, night drop. Alright, well, we weren't 
won't miss it two turns in a row. So, I found it this time. Um... Yeah, I can't miss a tactic every single time. Even this is adequate. Um, so I'm just going to spend one tempo defending my king before all hell breaks loose. Um, you can have my silver. All right. I think my position is good. Uh, I think I have a good position. I think I have mate. <laughs> Assuming they move. Oh. Um, it looks like there was an internet. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the game. Yes. Alright. Somehow I won that. Well, that's three games for today, if I'm counting correctly, and I think I am. Um, so, behold... The chaos, that's the Orishino attack. Uh, if you didn't understand it, don't worry, I didn't either. Um, but I should, over time, try to understand it. But also I should practice um, openings that I'll have an easier time understanding. Because even though Orishino, like gives you a good direction, it says just point your pieces this way, follow these various opening lines... Um, there's some lines to memorize, and it's kind of rough. And uh, I guess the more I think about it, I tend to prefer a more freestyle sort of thing that I tend to get when I play Swinging Rook or Ranging Rook. So maybe, maybe I try to like go back to playing um, either Central File or Third File or something like that. But I'd have to study those a bit more. Uh, Urshino does give you general directions. Says just play these general ideas. And it does give you some concrete lines. But opponents can also prepare. Or I don't know. If you're not super prepared. Things can readily backfire. As we saw in one of the games. So um, it's probably better to not play such an ultra sharp opening. And prefer something a bit calmer. Either way, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.